Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Newton and this is the Melhores Seu Inglês Podcast. In this week's episode, we are going to study the reflexive pronouns. For example, myself, yourself, themselves, etc. So, we are going to take a look when do we use them and when we do not use them. So let's see an example. You have Steve. He goes to his go. He went to a party and he meet his other. He meets other people and he says, "Hi, I'm Steve." In this case, Steve introduced himself to the other guests. He, Steve introduced himself to the other guest. So we use myself, yourself, himself, etc. when the subject and the object are the same. For example, Steve introduced himself. The reflexive pronouns are singular. Myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself. In the plural form, we have ourselves, yourselves, more than one person, themselves. Let's see these on these examples. I don't want you to pay for me. I will pay it for myself. I don't want you to pay for me. I will pay for myself. You do not say I will pay for me. Julia had a great holiday. She really enjoyed herself. Julia had a great holiday. She really enjoyed herself. Do you talk to yourself sometimes? Do you talk to yourself sometimes? If you want more to eat, help yourselves. If you want more to eat, help yourselves. Now let's compare. It's not our fault. You can't blame us. It's, it's, it's not our fault. You can't blame us. Is different than it's our own fault. We should blame ourselves. It's our own fault. We should blame ourselves. We do not use myself, yourself, himself, etc. after to feel, to relax, to concentrate, or to meet. For example, I feel nervous. I can't relax. I feel nervous. I can't relax. You must try and concentrate. You must try and concentrate and not concentrate yourself. What time shall we meet? What time shall we meet? Not meet ourselves or not meet us. What time shall we meet? We normally use to wash, to shave, to dress without reflexive pronouns, without myself, herself, himself, etc. So, to wash, to shave, and to dress. For example, he got up, washed, shaved, and dressed, not washed himself, etc. You can also say, get dressed. He got dressed. You don't say, he got dressed himself, herself, and etc. Now, let's compare the plural forms. Compare ourselves and each other. For example, Kate and Joe stood in front of the mirror and looked at themselves. Kate and Joe looked at Kate and Joe. So, Kate and Joe stood in front of the mirror and looked at themselves. Kate looked at Joe. Joe looked at Kate. They looked at each other. They looked at each other. You can use one another instead of each other. For example, how long have you and Bill known each other? Or how long you and Bill known one another? Sue and Anne don't like each other. Or Sue and Anne don't like one another. Do you and Sarah live near each other? Do you and Sarah live near one another? We also use myself or yourself, himself, etc. in another way. For example, who repaired your bike for you? I repair it myself. Who repaired your bike for you? I repaired it myself. I repaired it myself means I repair it. I repaired the bicycle, not anybody else. I, it was me. So in this case, here, 
In this case, myself is used to emphasize I. For example, it makes it stronger. Let's see some more examples. I'm not going to do your work for you. You can do it yourself. I'm not going to do your work for you. You can do it yourself. Let's paint the house ourselves. It will be much cheaper. Let's paint the house ourselves. It will be much cheaper. The film itself wasn't very good, but I loved the music. The film itself wasn't very good, but I loved the music. I don't think Liz will get the job. Liz herself doesn't think she will get it. I don't think Liz will get the job. Liz herself don't think she will get it. Or Liz doesn't think she will get it herself. That's it for today. And this was the Melhor em Seu Inglês podcast para aulas de inglês por Skype focadas em conversação, individuais, personalizadas e para todos os níveis. Basta entrar em contato comigo ou com a professora Erika nos nossos sites Melhor em Seu Inglês Instagram, Melhor em Seu Inglês Facebook e o blog Melhor em Seu Inglês.wordpress.com ou nos contate diretamente no WhatsApp 31991437388 31 91437388 Keep studying and improve your English!